and welcome to Trudy's 10, the resistance bands edition. My name is Trudy and this is Carol. We are from Third Age Fitness. We love working with older adults and we also love using resistance bands. Carol, how often do you use resistance bands? I'm presuming, well, I know that you use them in class. So how often do you use them? I use them round about every three to four weeks. Uh, the other weeks I would use weights uh, or balls or just body weight. And what's your main purpose for incorporating the bands in your classes? Uh, the main purpose would be that I work with strength mainly with the bands and also uh, flexibility. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we are going to get straight into it. We're going to give you our top 10 reasons for why you should use resistance bands in your older adults classes. That's right, bands are really easy and cheap and accessible to find. So they're a great alternative if you're teaching off-site classes or running your own personal training out of your garage or something like that. They're just a really great cheap alternative that you can build up a store of them and also build up a, a range of different resistances um, for a really cheap price, really affordable, really accessible. You can always find them in the local shopping centers. So that's one reason why they're a great alternative as well. They're also great for participants to take away on holiday. I encourage mine to do that. I generally have a sheet that they can follow and I give them that and they're very light to take in your suitcase. And even if you're going on a holiday but you're doing a lot of walking, uh, you can still come back and do some band work and it's really easy to do. That's right, we love just how practical and accessible and easy they are to use and buy and store. So that's another reason why we love bands. Bands are much safer as well in many ways than using weights. Uh, for instance, you can drop a band on somebody else's toe no or your own toe for that fact or your head or, or your anything head, else anything like that so they are much safer they're much safer on your joints as well mm. yeah that's right so with um with bands you don't have that sort of compression of the joints that you can have with weights when weights are pushing down on shoulders or elbows or things like that so joints are a lot no joints bands are a lot save nicer on our joints so that's why older adults do like them because they're just a little softer and a little easier to use um, but still with that was still just as much of a challenge um, and another reason that they're safer is that pretty, they can flick back at you that's probably one thing if or um, I've had a few bands snap in classes with some of my boys that pull them too high um, but you know so you, they can snap so you might go through a few of them in the year that's true but they're just a little safer than weights with bands participants find it a little bit more difficult to cheat because that's what participants just do <laughs> if they can with weights or it's anything true. like that if they've got to work harder they try and think okay well if I I cheat a bit here with momentum or I lift my shoulders mm. or something of that nature uh, they'll do it so bands is a little bit more difficult to do that because quite often we're working a little bit slower and the muscles are under tension all, all the time, the time. Yeah. so that's really a, a big benefit uh, for the participants that they're actually working harder mm -hmm. and with that the band is under tension all the time so you're actually getting a, a more effective workout and a more effective use of your time so often with weights you're pulling up and that's the hard bit but then you're just really just letting them flop so but you can with the band you can keep it under that tension throughout the whole range of motion and just increase the effectiveness of the workout so we do love that that it also it does it force a little better technique because you can't be thrusting your hips sort of a thing and trying to get your arms up with a band it just won't work you've, you've got to do the work to uh, get the workout so there's no cheating with bands and it just really makes sure that the whole body is working and in that correct posture to uh, to get the right workout bands are very versatile when we use them we can 
have them under our both feet, under one foot, uh, have them doubled over, um, have them in one arm, using just one arm and then the other. So they're really great from that point of view that the versatility is there and with that variety that adds to your class. Mm. And you can add sort of different planes that you can't with a weight. So you can do rotations like a shoulder rotation, um, pulling away, you can anchor around a pole which you can't do with a weight because you don't <laughs> need to. But you know if you add in a pole or you add in a partner that then increases the options and that you have even more. So just there's the versatility, you can go on angles, you can go when you're on the floor, you can be on your side using them, you can be on your back with over the legs, you can be on your back in the arms, pretty much any muscle Anywhere. you've got, <laughs> you can use a band to work that muscle. So we think that there's a lot more variety um, available compared to the weight because you only really, the weight can sort of just go up and down really um, and so the bands though can go in any different direction and any different which way and you can pull out you can pull this way you can rotate as we've said so just the versatility of a band is fantastic and amazing and uh, and it's a good challenge for the instructor to uh, always be learning and always trying to incorporate new exercises as well in their workouts Bands incorporate everybody from the beginner to the person who is really strong. Also, we have a lot of variety too with strength with males and females. Mm. So we have generally three sizes of bands and one of those will suit everybody. So. It's great from that point of view. Mm, we have new participants who are doing their first class with us and we do bands and they're just like, oh, what, what, what's going on? Yeah. And we said, don't you worry, you'll be totally fine. And they have a great workout. And then you go into a gym and you see bodybuilders are using bands and they're getting the workout as well. So just the ability to change the tension, you know, if you're doing a pull apart, you can have your hands out wide and just do a little bit or you can have it right in close or double over mm. just to change that resistance on the spot. You don't have to have three different sets of weights to get that strength or the workout that you need. You can do it in that one band. If you have the exercise under both feet and that's a good workout or you're just like, oh, that's too much of a workout, you know, change it just to one foot in the band and you can still do the exercise all with everyone else participating in the class but it's just a little easier for you and it and just meets you where you are at. So we love that if you have a, a class where you've got new people or you've got really experienced people, you can do the same exercise and you can just make it adaptable to where they're at and the fitness levels that they have. So another great reason to use bands in your class. With our band work, we want to challenge our participants both mentally and physically. We can do this by getting two arms to be doing different things, like one arm might be straightforward, the other arm might be moving to the side. Um, we can also uh, be lunging and doing different things with our arms at the same time. So the band's work works really well for cognitive function. That's right, there's just a few more ideas and ways that you can be moving the body differently. There's we've sort of talked about that versatility. So there are a lot more exercises that even just to set you up, you have to be thinking, okay, which the band is under which foot and which arm and is it going around the back or and which way are we doing it? So we find that participants are having to think about what's going on with their arms and legs. Also, because there is that increased range of motion with the band, because it can go in any plane around, people are having to think a lot more consciously about where their arms and legs mm. are going and if they are doing it correctly. So that's another reason why we love the brain challenge of bands and we do find that it does really challenge um, participants and in a good way. So that's another reason why um, bands are great for your classes. Bands can be included also into a circuit workout. Now quite often with circuits we think of maybe weights and some cardio, but bands add that great variety of strength training. 
and you can also do like supersets if you're in the gym or if you if you are running your older adults classes you can do the exercise with the weight like a bicep curl do it with the weight and then repeat it using the band so you're, you're really just gonna push 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 those same muscles but just in a different variation of it so it can be your second round or your second lot of repetitions that you do the same exercises but with the band and so that just adds a little more tension mm. be more challenge for the muscles doing the same exercise but just in a little different way and also with the bands you might find that you'll activate some secondary muscles a little more the core a little more because they're working a little harder to keep that band under tension the whole time so yeah add it to your circuit class or as a superset on your normal weights classes things like that then that's another way that you can just really push the muscles and get the results that you're after Using bands also means that your muscles are under a varying stimulus. So the actual resistance that they're under and the challenge that they're under actually changes throughout the motion. So with a weight, if you've got a two kilo weight, when you lift it up, it's two kilos, and when you lower it down, it's still two kilos. But if you're doing it with a band and you're curling up, it's actually getting harder and harder and harder as you're coming away from that anchor point, and then it'll get easier, easier, easier. So that's just a different way to work your muscles and that you are varying that tension and varying the resistance. And it also means so people can go up a little high. If you're doing like a side raise, sometimes you might only be able to get down to here, but then other people might be able to get all the way excuse me Carol okay. all the way up to here so and it just gets harder and harder and harder as you go so you can actually increase the challenge in the exercise um, and keep if you've got also all your good posture and your good technique and things like that then you know you can add that extra challenge by going a little harder and it gets harder the more you do it so that's a really unique thing that you don't get from using weights um, dumbbells or barbells and things like that Particularly in our older adults classes, bands are not used on the floor. And there's a massive amount of exercises that you can do and they really are great. And so many people just do not think of using them on the floor. Yeah, there's less, probably because you don't usually use weights so much on the floor because there's mm. not a whole heap of exercises that you can do um, on the floor whereas with a band there are heaps and heaps of exercises that you can do uh, you know on your back on your side legs up sitting up pulling all fours, all fours arm work leg work you can pretty much you could do a whole class on the floor well, you could yes. and so that adds a whole new challenge for older adults because if they're on the floor mm. you know that will really challenge like hamstrings and glutes if they're sitting and they've got yes. flexibility issues hips it also can be a really nice thing because if they're on their backs you know that's less tension mm. on wrists or things like that so it can be great um, or if you've got people you know with um, issues standing up and they can't actually stand up for long periods of time they need to have a chair or something on the floor then it can be great just to do a really big chunk of floor exercises mm. but you're doing still your arm work and your leg work you're just doing it all from the floor mm. so it goes back to variety we love our variety and um, and so using bands on the floor there really are lots of exercises that you can do on the floor and again just going back to variety and just putting different or the same muscles just under different tensions and just getting them to work in different ways and just trying to keep them working all different ways to get the benefits that you want out for your classes so that's another reason why we love bands One of the best reasons though for using bands is just variety. We are teaching classes every week to the same participants. Sometimes we have them twice a week, sometimes three times a week in our classes. So we have to come up with new ideas and new ways to challenge and train the same old muscles. There's only so many ways you can train those muscles. So um, we just love bands because it adds a heap of variety. So, you know, you can do a bicep curl sort of a couple of ways with weights but then add in a band and it's the same action but it's just a little something different <laughs> it is it's just wonderful to have that the participants they just seem to like coming up and choosing their own band generally i would put them out in their uh, resistances across <laughs> the platform 
and they come up and they say oh you know now what's this one what's that one and and they just choose their own and and it it really works well they they love doing that mm. Something different, anything different to uh, add a little variety. We are always for it. So, uh, so that's another reason why we love bands.